Hello there guys, what is going on? Welcome to Pure Trading, the 29th of April. We're going to look at the euro versus the dollar. The market has been closed now for 23 minutes. Look, another good week. The reason for that is because everything has been going down. It's been following the fundamental view, so it was easy just finding that setups inside your daily and then your 15 minute chart. So we are bearish on the euro bullish on the dollar so which means we are looking to sell the spare what we are looking at here on day number one is this this is monday's candle here and i said that i was hoping that prices from this point goes up in here and then first create your manipulation and then to go short but as you can see that doesn't happen but what does happen we can see that the midpoint of your envelope which is this orange line here prices are Respecting at level, it respected this on Tuesday. And then again, earlier on today, we can see that here, that prices has been respected right there today. That's Friday, yeah? So Tuesday and Friday, we are supposed to see a nice looking setup there. And our setup is going to come in the form of an RSI divergence. You can use whatever setup you want, whatever works for you, whatever you feel the most confident with, whatever you have tested. I like the RSI setup in in these cases here. So let's look at your 15 minute. And we are going to look at Monday. This is the 25th of April. This year is Monday. So remember, I wanted prices to go all the way up from this point up all the way here and then cause manipulations here before coming down. That does not happen. But what happens? We can see here Tuesday we get an RSI divergence and it comes down. And then today we have another one here. This is Friday. We can see the divergence there comes down and other times during the week we can see that prices are just coming down and we are not getting divergences if we look at this one prices makes a high and then a higher high there and the RSI is doing the same thing so on Wednesday there was no divergence there prices are making higher highs and on, in this case here this is also not divergence you get a high you get that lower high and you get that sort of pattern on the RSI. So these are not divergences. Yeah? These two were not. So the only times we got a divergence in this week was on the Tuesday and then also on the Friday. That was Friday's one day. Friday's one wasn't that good um, with regards to profits. It was just a one is to one. But the Tuesday one was very nice. You can see if you followed it, all the way down if you've trailed your stop and all that then things would have been hunky-dory for you then we have the pound so this is the pound on the daily and if we look at this candle here this is our monday candle what we wanted was for prices to come up into these levels here and then to come down that doesn't happen now look at tuesday's candle doesn't even touch the midpoint neither does wednesday and neither does thursday but what we have here on our friday is the midpoint touch yeah so we are going to look at a trend trading sort of a method i know i like using the haikanashi but if it's this um, volatile if the trends are so volatile then I'm, and I'm not able to find the trend line because it's too steep then I'm going to have to use dynamic trend lines here like in this case this is a five period moving average that just follows the price nicely if the trend is volatile so let's zoom in on the Monday and sorry on the Friday we can see here this was a setup happening here this one fails and then we have even another one here so this one doesn't work out here on our Friday yeah then what do we have we had one that worked out here and that was on the Wednesday we had a small little divergence that worked out there the thing is we knew that we are bullish on the dollar and that we were going to sell everything against the dollar now based on that premise we were looking at RSI divergence and any other reasons of why we wanted to sell then our yen the yen pair was uh, not that easy for me let's go to the daily chart here first we can see prices are just going up all the time yeah let's look at this here this is our friday candle here monday sorry that's our monday candle and then you can see there's a divergence there and also we have an excursion beyond the mean there on the tuesday yeah let's just take a closer look at that particular one on 
you can see the divergence is just clear between Monday and Tuesday. There you can see it, and that's a whole lot of pips there. And then in this case here, this is Thursday, prices shoots up, yeah? So it's a very strong surge, prices are going up. Look, I don't know why that prices went up, yeah? Market makers, banks, commercial players, whoever they are, I think we should just not care and just know that there's a lot of players in, in the game when you see such a big move up yeah or big move down so what we have is a big move up there and there is a gap here yeah so it goes all the way up and then what we're going to assume is that there are so many people that wanted to jump on board here and they were too late they couldn't get their orders filled for whatever the reasons price goes up and then it comes all the way down on friday too late for me to take a trade here to go long i hope that makes some sort of sense there because this is a this is what you call a fair value gap sort of entry there a lot of people are trying to make entries to buy are oh, too late can't do it for whatever reason and then what you do is you buy it when it comes back there but bear in mind look at the strong moves up here the the, the strong trends up here we don't do that sort of thing just anywhere in in the market then we have our cad now the cad was very nice here we had to wait all week for this now just look at this this is your monday candle here yeah monday nothing happens here you have a nice excursion beyond the mean there you have a level this is your monday candle but it's you know you can't do anything remember i was looking at these as targets for trades as we've taken last week already based on this excursion so i was looking at this trying to get into the market here and the, the friday was the only real proper opportunity there you can call this um one year also on tuesday this was also a like a midpoint five moving average sort of a trade but the best one was this one let's take a look at your friday 15 minute um, setup there absolutely perfect nothing wrong with that yeah you come into the level you have your divergence and then look at this candles moving up strongly away from this area nothing wrong with that i hope you can just clearly see this that prices comes into the level oh, this is my daily uh, why is this a level it's a level because of that it's a level because of this area here prices comes back and there's an excursion beyond the mean and then on your 15 minute there is this perfection absolutely perfect then we have our commodity trading pair here this is the aussie versus the dollar look at this another perfect one you have your nice level perfect level and then there's an excursion beyond the mean if you look at this this is your um monday candle yeah monday tuesday wednesday Thursday. this is your monday and you are looking to go short people yeah so i am looking at the midpoint or preferably i'm looking at, a, at an excursion beyond the mean there yeah so the, this year is the midpoint this year is your monday candle prices comes down prices goes up to the midpoint you can argue that this is a nice one to try and then Tuesday, anytime when prices are hitting this midpoint and it is a very strong wood moving um, trend. And in this case, you have a very volatile trend. Now, how I was taught a to, to identify a volatile trend is when you have a fast moving average, 12 period, 5 period or whatever, and the prices are not able really to close above that. All you get is prices touching the the fast moving average all the time and then my bread and butter sort of entry here you get your excursion beyond the mean plus a level jumping down to the 15 minute as easy as possible you see your divergence there as clear as daylight there that's my divergence there and then that's your entry and then the last pair here, the new zealand dollar now this one doesn't have your excursion beyond the mean there but what it does have is your five period moving average sort of a trade there so we are not if we look at the monday candle yeah we know we are bearish on this pair the new zealand dollar versus the united states dollar we're looking to go 
um, short. Yeah, prices comes down. So yeah, Tuesday, you get your first opportunity on Tuesday. Why? Because you are in a volatile trend and you couldn't find a nice decent trend maybe on your four hourly and you're jumping to your Heikenashi. Maybe you couldn't find a setup, but re really you could actually find a decent. I didn't find my setup on, on this pair here um, using Heikenashi. What I did was, as I explained to you before, I was using the midpoint here yeah i was using the midpoint of my envelope which is a five period moving average so tuesday prices comes down let's look at the tuesday candle here right, so that's monday this is tuesday so there is no divergence there yeah you can argue that this is the divergence across the days here monday tuesday and then your divergence is there and then try and go short all week long because you are your bias is short or you could just wait for the proper setup here, which comes in on the Friday. You can see this Friday prices comes in, making higher highs and your divergence is clear on your RSI here. Yeah, just clear. And these three um, points here, I like to call this lion's head, signal hill, and then all devil's peak because of Cape Town. But the three higher moves there and then three lower moves on the RSI. That thing hardly ever fails, guys. If you see this three wave move up and your three wave move down on your RSI, I would really pull the trigger on your highest risk um, that you are allowed. No. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember, the most important thing, no matter what, is to trade safely and prosper.